If you turn your attention to the International Junior Holstein Show ring, Judge Turner has completed his placings in the senior three-year-old cow class. The genetic award winner in this class was entry 605, Ms. Apple's Una Armana, exhibited by Miles Kanani and Soren Price of Martinton, Illinois. Placing third in the class is entry 611, Savage Lee Gold Lush, exhibited by Connor Savage of Union Bridge, Maryland. Second in the class and winning the Junior Bread Known Award is entry 612, Penwood Brokaw Tiana, exhibited by Elizabeth Stoltzfus of Berlin, Pennsylvania. And winning the class and also named Best Daughter is entry 604, Silver Maple Windhammer Camille, exhibited by Christian Cunningham and Miles Price, Pengrove, California. Congratulations. Roger? You're, that's right, give him a round of applause. Beautiful class of cows. Roger, your comments on the class. Well, it's, it's certainly great to hear the applause that these people love them as much as Kelly and I do. And these senior three-year-olds, uh, really just a tremendous lineup. Uh, you've heard us comment on that all day, but I certainly believe it. Uh, a tremendous utter group of cows all the way down the line. Maybe a little variation in some parts to some frames, but certainly a beautiful utter group all the way down the line in the senior three-year-old class. But a cow to win the class, a cow that we feel really comfortably handles the class with that beautiful head and neck, that beautiful symmetry, a, a cow that has a tremendous breed character up and through her front end today over the cow following in second. She just had uh, that beautiful hard top that she has, uh, and she does it so well with a long body from her point of withers back through to her, back through to her pins. And a cow, when you see her move around, she does that so comfortably on a tremendous set of feet and legs. A beautiful clean bone down through her hock and she just moves out a little easier and a little softer today than is the uh, cow following in second cow for those reasons the first cow over the second cow not taking anything away from the cow in second that tremendous frame and width and capacity a cow that uses that advantage and that height and width to her rear udder a cow that uses that tremendous width and heart and chest today to get over the beautiful dairy cow following in third third and fourth a couple cows we move bit but this third cow just had advantage today she's just a little wider in her muzzle she's a little wider in her chest and a little more cow all the way through than the extremely beautiful side profile cow that settles into fourth she uses that dairiness that quality a cow that's a little more comfortable on her feet and legs today she's more sound in the way she's connected in through her rump and her hooks and her th pins and her thurls today over the cow following in fifth you love the frame on this cow in fifth that beautiful hard Nest him through her heart and her chest and that beautiful chine that she has. And she uses that in regions and that width to her chest, that depth of both her fore and rib today. Cow and six. Thank you.
And we have the results for the five-year-old cow class for the International Guernsey Show. Our junior first place winner, entry 287, Wrightstock Blue Spruce Ellen, Skylar Plucker, Chancellor, South Dakota. Our third place finisher and winner of our production award, Mil Milbourne Hill Points Fiesta, P. Maury Miller, M. Helen Brand, and Peter Vale, Granby, Connecticut. Our second place finisher and bread and owned award winner, Levon Farms Regency Adore, John and Bonnie Ayers and Todd Moore, Mechanicsburg, Ohio. And our overall winner, as well as our best utter award winner, Lance Farm Preppy Indy, Melinda Rushing, Perkins, Oklahoma. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge Banky, tell us more, please. I'm glad to hear that she's a crowd favorite because she's my favorite too. Just a beautiful, utter, great, balanced dairy cow to win the class. She has an advantage over the cow in second in youthfulness of mammary, height and width at the point of rear utter attachment, and just the ease of which she moves around the ring today. Not to take anything away from the beautiful dairy frame of the cow in second. She's clean boned and angular. She's got that great open rib that I love to see. She's smooth in her fore udder, and she uses her advantage and mammary system to place over the massive cow that's in third. She's tighter and snugger in her fore udder, more desirable in her teat size and shape than the big cow that is third. You gotta admire this big cow for her size and scale and length and frame. She put a lot of milk through that udder and has tremendous height and width to her rear udder. She has an advantage in frame today over the little cow that comes next in line, but this little cow has a really, really good udder. She's blended extremely well in the fore udder. She's got uniform width up the top to the top of her rear udder today, and she uses her advantage in teat placement to go over the bigger cow that's next in line. I do admire this fifth cow for the great width to her rump and width to her udder, just not quite the teat placement I need to move her up into that fourth spot. But she does have an advantage in strength of udder attachments today to go over the just recently fresh cow that comes sixth. But a beautiful cow to win the class. Congratulations. Let's give them another nice round of applause. Recapping results for the five-year-old cow class for the International Guernsey Show, for those of you following along in your programs. Entry 287 finished fourth, first junior. Wrightstock Blue Spruce Ellen, Skylar Plucker, Chancellor, South Dakota. Number 288 was sixth. Number 289 was fifth. Number 290 was our winner, and the winner of the Best Utter Award, Lance Farm Preppy Indy, Melinda Rushing, Perkins, Oklahoma. Number 291 was second in our bread and owned award winner, Lavon Farms Regency Adore, John and Bonnie Ayers and Todd Moore, Mechanicsburg, Ohio. Numbers 292 through 294 did not show. And number 295 finished third and was our production award winner. Milbourne Hill Points Fiesta, P. Maury Miller, M. Helen Brand, and Peter Vale, Granby, Connecticut. Her production numbers. 365 days of milking, she produced 21,833 pounds of milk. That's 1,010 pounds of protein for 4.6%, or of milk fat, 1,010 pounds of milk fat for 4.6%, and 801 pounds of protein for 3.7%. Now entering the ring for the International Guernsey Show, the six-year-old and older cows. First place award is presented by NASCO, Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. The production award is presented by Swiss Valley Farms, Davenport, Iowa. Best Audio Rosette presented by Cattle Connection, Amory, Wisconsin. The Carol E.B. Trophy.